Meals in Antarctica's most extreme research station meals are a very important part of ensuring scientists are healthy and in good spirits while working at the Princess Elizabeth Research Station. Antarctica. Due to its high altitude, even the environment in West Antarctica cannot match the harshness here. Princess Elizabeth, a polar research station in the Queen Maud land region, is regularly exposed to winds of up to 249 km per hour and temperatures that can drop to minus 50 degrees Celsius. That's why the chefs working here need to have skills in making dishes that make the team feel comfortable. Chef Thomas Duconsale, who works at the research station for many months of the year, says, People have to go out in very cold and extreme temperatures. I usually make something delicious and energetic for body, like fondue or raclette. Very much. For scientists being nearly 5,000 kilometers from the nearest city and nearly 16,000 kilometers from home, hot cheese is a treat that brings lasting comfort. Princess Elizabeth is about a six-hour flight from the nearest city, Cape Town, South Africa. Therefore, Duconsale needs to ensure that there is enough meat, fish and vegetables stored for one season. Usually, if the weather is good, the plane will deliver food every month. The station usually has about 20 to 30 people regularly present and the facility is expanded to accommodate about 50 people. They would take turns assisting Dukon sale by setting the table, cleaning and putting away the dishes, or peeling large quantities of potatoes. The dishes Dukon sale prepares are often quite diverse, including soups, meat dishes, pizzas, salads and desserts. He said there is always a vegetarian dish for everyone to choose from. On special occasions such as Christmas or New Year, the chef prepares dishes such as stuffed turkey, cold nougat, etc. Due to the station's isolated location, a stockpile of essentials is maintained through each season. It is also not easy to transport things that can be preserved for a long time and do not spoil such as cereals, beans, canned tomatoes, etc. From Belgium, the containers are filled with large quantities of frozen food and dry goods. A ship delivers them here every two years. At the research station, food is stored downstairs. Where there is a large room with shelves for dry food, a large container-sized freezer and a smaller refrigerator. There are many areas here that need to be studied. Scientists at Princess Elizabeth Station regularly go out to the field. Chefs played a key role in the success of those expeditions. These trips can last two to three weeks and involve four to six people. Therefore, I need to estimate how much food they need. Every time I cook a large batch of something, I usually freeze a portion of it. So researchers can take it with them, defrost it, and enjoy it, instead of having to spend time cooking it out there, Duconsale said, inside Princess Elizabeth. The atmosphere is warm and comfortable thanks to its special texture and many heat-retaining materials. The station has a full area for research, working, meeting, eating and sleeping for researchers and support staffs. Although the station is comfortable and convenient, the isolation, unpredictable polar weather, as well as months away from family, Beloved ones, can make even the most seasoned of people tired. Therefore, meals become more and more important, and play a role in boosting their spirits. In Antarctica, food is very important for the morale of the teams, says Dukon Sale. That's why it's so important to make sure everyone is happy at the dinner table and getting together after a long day. I love making cakes and desserts so people can feel happy at the end of the day.